Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our Fokker Wolf 190 and looking at homing navigation. So if we click on our Fokker Wolf here, we're going to try and get to copy Letty here and pretend that we've got zero visibility. If we go to the presets here, then we have our four radio preset channels. I've been through this in the radio tutorial, but it also uses these channels for homing. And it's a very basic homing system. It, it allows you to home in on any continuously transmitted radio signal. And it can be between a bandwidth of 38.4 megahertz AM and 42.4 megahertz am so we're going to choose 30 uh, if we go to channel oh it has to be channel two three and four i don't believe channel radio channel one works for homing so 38.4 we're going to do as far as i'm aware this may be the first radar homing navigation system uh, in aviation obviously pioneered during the second world war if i'm wrong let me know but uh, this is the, certainly the first one i've seen so uh, channel two is going to be our one that we're going to use and we're going to go and get a guy down here what we need to do is have a continuously transmitted radio signal so we've got a t90 tank here we've set the frequency to 38.4 megahertz am modulation with a power of 100 watts just to make sure and he's going to be constantly transmitting this wave file now take note that the reason that we're using a tank to transmit the signal is that we've got no radio beacons to use usually this aircraft would use the homing to home into radio beacons to return to base uh, wherever they were based in in the second world war in the maps that i have installed at the moment the caucasus and the persian gulf there are no suitable airfield beacons for this aircraft if i were to install the normandy map then i would almost certainly find that there would be suitable beacons so as an interim solution for what the caucasus is, then this is how we're going to have to do it so that's that let's now get into the cockpit Okay, we're in the cockpit. Sorry about the noise. Uh, the airbase is going to be over there somewhere. Here is our instrumentation that we're going to use for the actual navigation. Now it's really hard to see. It may just be with my particular track IR, which is not a very good one, but I'm having this problem. Yours you might find a bit easier, but um, I certainly have a problem with it. Here is the radio set down here. We're now going to tune it in. We're going to turn it to with a right click to channel 2. We're going to turn the volume up with the left click and drag. And you can see, you can hear now the wave file of the guy transmitting. We can change radio to homing with this switch here, left click of the mouse. And now we've got our homing signal. Let's pause that and just have a little quiet look. So we've got two elements here, two needles. We've got needle one is the distance from the tuned in radio signal. Now it's not a linear scale, it's a logarithmic scale. So it has more sensitivity, if you like, as it gets closer to the station. If we look at the top, you can see it says near or neha. That is close to the station and down at the bottom would be far from the station. There's also a light in the middle that will light up if you were actually going over proper airfield radio beacons, but I can't show that today. And this second needle is the direction finding needle, which shows us the direction of the signal in comparison to where our aircraft is pointing. That, if this needle here is in front of it, it is down on that square there, then it is, you know, the, the radio signal source is in front of us if it's off to the left here then it's somewhere off to the left of us and if it sways to the right then it's somewhere off to the right of us that's basically the best we can do so let's go and try and use that and home in to the base standby i can't actually see it so it is actually going to be a real use of this so let's give it a go one thing to note is that the needle does not oh there's the base right there look the needle does not like you being banked so it will not behave very well when the aircraft is heavily banked uh, in fact, it's not too dissimilar from modern, uh, more modern ADF systems. So we should get some needle swing. But it's not going to play ball. Yes, it is. There it goes. Needle is swinging. And swinging right. So it's not giving us particularly accurate information. It's very basic. It's just basically, are you left of the signal or are you right of the signal? And I'm going to try and make corrections as I go. I'm 
mean, I say, it ba I say it's basic, but one way or another, that's got me to the airbase, probably even to the tank that's transmitting it. Let's have a look. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much on course for that exact uh, tank that's transmitting the signal. So it's not very pretty to look at, not as pretty as a, you know, a proper compass rose with an ADF system. But it works. It works really well everywhere I've tested it. Absolutely fine. And the needle, I know it's, I can't really look at that. My apologies. You can see the range needle, the signal strength is right at the top now. So regards distance, we are, uh, that works as well. So, um, the, you know, it's pretty cool, really useful. I'm going to use it in missions now just because I can, and it's cool. Nothing really to add to that. Um, I believe it only works on channels 2, 3, and 4. It does not work on channels 1. It's the same or similar as the one in the BF109K. That's all I've got to say. I hope that helps, and see you later.